sit at the drive-thru. It's a uh, quarter till eight in the morning. Temperature outside is probably 70 in the shade and 80 in the sun. It, it gets hot really quick. We have 100 degree days already. And it's it's getting hot. That's the outlet on the radiator. It's you know right above 160, 170. And uh, this guy sits right at the edge of the green zone. I'm sure it'll overheat under a load in the heat of the day, but this is right after putting in the brand new radiator and it's frustrating. It was overheating in the middle of the night with no load. It was overheating in the middle of the night. Driving. You can see it climbing right up to the white and it's gonna get worse. But uh, there's just no winning with these old cars. So here I am on the ebay.com and uh, $268 from GPI Racing. I'm gonna give you a three row all aluminum radiator. That's nice. I hope um, I Did I see a fan somewhere in the pictures? I feel like I may have. There we go. Uh, universal fan. That's nice. Um, yeah, this is an OE fit for the for the Volvo Amazon. And uh, aluminum, all aluminum, they are very unlikely to crack, unlike the uh, plastic and uh, aluminum ones that I find here at the Bato Zone. So, might just have to suck it up and go that route, because I am so sick and tired of this overheating. I'll put the mechanical fan back on, I'll have to get an adapter for the top hose because these are one inch outlets I've got one and a quarter and uh, hopefully that'll be here before my road trip I am tired and uh, I don't feel like bothering with this overheating much more so there you have it no more Honda radiator if you're watching this video don't do it I got a package today what is it I mean we just had an anniversary so I can't guess she went to Forever Sharp. Oh, it's gorgeous. Thank you. Hey, Aslan. Hi, buddy. I got a package today. Really excited about this one. It only cost 268,000 pennies. And uh, all the way from China, also known as California 2.0. Or is it the other way around? Yeah. Oh. You shouldn't use that as a handle. Oh, wow, it's freaking huge! Well, it took a beating, but it might still be intact. Oh boy. Oh boy. There you have it, folks. I had to get naked because it's so hot in the house. And buy a radiator. You like that? Yeah. That's right. Original Fitment, three core aluminium. TIG welded, no epoxy, and yeah, it's pretty much the, the thing that comes up on eBay. A new brass and copper, I think that's what they use. That costs a, uh, a fair chunk of change, too. Check out the uh, the cores here. It's a little bit of a bend as they kind of go up and around. At least the uh, the flaws are symmetrical. Stop licking my phone. Yeah, he's being cute. He likes the uh, attention. These look like some pretty good welds. I, uh, I'm i not disappointed in them. You know, that Honda radiator was uh, Chinese as well. Of course, there's a little bit of a wave right there in the end cap, but... Dude, you guys. Yeah. Um, let's see how this looks, because it, it definitely punched a hole in the box. The inside looks all right. Ooh, yeah. It's a little rough. You don't want to. You don't want to get stuck in there. If you know what I mean. Uh, it's a huge radiator cap. I think it's an eight-pound system. But it will go really well into the beer can overflow, which I have put in there. I'll show you guys in a minute. And they were even generous enough to put Teflon tape on that. That's so sweet. I had to basically get a, um, wow, that is a beefy cap. Whoa. 1.1 bar. Okay, so that's what, 15, 16 pounds. Uh, let's get some flash here and we'll take a look from the top down. Ooh, oh. you look scary. Okay. Uh, all right, in there we've got a, uh, Fancy thingamajig. So coolant goes down. 
One core, two core. Can I see a three? Uh, you can't see it in the camera, but I do see the third core. This is just uh, this cap here. It hangs over quite a bit. Uh, another thing you'll notice is that that radiator hose is not where it should be, right here on center. Weird, but hey, that's uh... Get what you pay for, really. And I uh, will do a pressure test on it when it's all hooked up to the car, make sure I don't get any leaks. But basically, I've got myself a radiator, and I'm really happy. The Honda radiator is actually not much smaller. It's uh, maybe right here, a good square. Goes up about the same thickness, three cores. It just wasn't getting enough air. However, speaking of air, this thing should come with an electric fan. Oh, uh, yep, straight from China. You pull on that box for me. Thanks, sweetheart. Yeah, straight blades. They pull a little more air than the uh, helical shape. Let's call them that. Check it out, there's even a weight. They took the time to balance this. They are so sweet and considerate. I just, you know, there must be a lot of quality things coming out of China. Everybody's sending their parts there. Got mounting kits, cheapo foam, basic, you know, it's the stuff you find in stores. Summit.com, uh, Yearwood probably. Yeah, Summit, Summit Racing, that's their website. Summit, yeah. Uh, it's got springs, it's got basically big zip tie things and exactly the same wire connections so that 14 inch blade is actually bigger than the radiator here I'll have to put the 12 er on this side and put the 14 as a push fan on the opposite end of the radiator now the brand I'll put in the description. I don't remember exactly what brand this is. It sounds cheap. They do a lot of motorcycle stuff. Wow, 14 doesn't even fit on that end. Hmm. We'll figure something out here. I'm sure I'll make it work. Uh, the important thing is that it's not loose and it doesn't rattle, because uh, one thing will break another thing. Hi, cat. It's a full house here. We're about to get two more. Yep. That's the best. Alrighty, that's... That's enough for tonight, and uh, these holes, they look like they were cut by, you know, when you're not quite drunk, but you're a little, uh, what's the word, buzzed? Yeah, that's uh, something I might have to, have to ream out a bit, put some grommets in there, and uh, get Arthur ready for a big trip and a big show. Gentlemen, this is why you don't buy radiators from China that are shipped in the U.S., that's the uh, that's the fitment. I've got that grommet on there in the bottom. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. So that's kind of a kick in the dick, so to speak. I'm gonna have to figure something out here. I don't really want to weld brackets, but I will figure something out. <gasps> Doggy, it's been uh, maybe like two hours since I attempted to put this stupid radiator in. Oh, I'm gonna write a letter. I think it, uh, what are they called? GPI radiators or something. And it's gonna start like this: Dear, your name here. Stop making this radiator immediately until you can make it right. Okay, lots of places where it's touching. Of course, obvious one here. Along the bottom. On the right. And up here as well. I put some nice foam on it. Should keep things solid. Now the important thing is you don't want a radiator rattling around. Anything it rattles against will eventually put a hole in it. Uh, aluminum's a little sturdier than plastic. Over here, I had to bend those tabs in. I kept the grommets that I put in there. And they filled in the gap pretty nicely. Uh, you can see now it's held by a zip tie of all wonderful, incredible things. Same thing over here. Ugh, I hate this so much. Okay, uh, barely any room. No room for a fan up front with the pulley in place. Uh, you've got about two fingers worth of space here. 
I tried the fan up front, it didn't work. Okay, so I had to take off those little zip ties. And then I tried the fan back here, and then it was too low. And so I had to take it out a third time installed, and it's up here now. Is this going to fit with the radiator support? I hope to God it does, because these people are going to get a really nasty letter one way or another. Look at the hoses. Okay, I can see why they didn't put the hose up here. That would have been weird. Uh, but how do you how do you get a hose? Oh, it's gonna be tricky because it's so small, you know. I'm not using this anymore. I've got my uh, fan controller. I'm going to be using that instead. And uh, it's gonna be a push fan. Unfortunately, it won't have any room for a pull fan here. Maybe room for the original fan blades. Most likely not. The only thing really keeping this radiator, this is a very important point, the only thing keeping this radiator from going back towards the engine uh, certainly isn't these zip ties. It's going to be the hoses. And even then, you don't want to rely on hoses too much because as they get hot, they get soft. And if I do have a fan blade here, the OEM, uh, you know, mechanical one, it's going to quickly eat away anything in its path. So... I'm going to want to make sure to strap this radiator that way with some other form than just these zip ties. The bottom hole was also a pain in the butt, but you know that already. Uh, it's kind of your anchor point, you know, you have to start there. So if that's off, the whole thing won't work. And it's a little off, but it's kind of working. I mean, it's it's basically in the center. At least the the I don't I don't want to blame any Chinese manufacturers. I mean, Workers, they're they're probably hardworking people, but day in and day out in a factory, you'll probably get lazy. So, yep, that's uh, where it's at now, and time to put on the radiator support. Tabby should be home in a minute. She's actually got it in the back of her car, but I am I am livid. I mean, if I got mad, I would be mad. I'm not the kind of guy to get mad though. I just get very uh, driven towards solving the problem, and uh, yeah, frustrated is an understatement. Let's just say that. Now I do have the larger diameter there, that's one and a quarter. This is just a straight one inch, so I'm gonna need a reducer. That'll be fun, we'll get creative, it'll be okay. Here I am at the Walmart of radiator hoses and I need to find a hose for my radiator. It's got a one inch inlet outlet, which is a joke. I wish they would have gone one and a quarter. However, OEM is one inch. The top hose on anything I think newer than 67, 68, something like that is one and a quarter. So I got an outlet for the thermostat that's one and a quarter, which fits great with that Honda radiator I had. However, the lower hose, I have a reducer. So I'm gonna need some sort of uh, reducer or enlarger or just stretch the hose on the top. The bottom will be alright. Um, also the fitment of that uh, inlet pipe is offset quite a bit. So I know that uh, this is a good measurement here for what I need so I'm gonna go around and just finger all these hoses and find the one I need. This is an option. It might work. Um, you know there's such small distance between the thermostat and the radiator outlet. So it'll come up, sit kind of like that, and basically I'd cut it right here. If it fits, it looks like it's a little bit bigger here than it is right where my hand is. That'd be nice, because the radiator has the tiniest outlets I've ever seen. Dang, old man, do I tell you what? Put that electric fuel pump is the best thing I ever did in this car. There's no more fuel smell. I'm getting an instant acceleration response, and it is like a rocket ship. That's right, folks. Arthur is a brand new man.
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was in our bathroom? Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh no, don't touch it. No. David. Yeah, he's pretty upset. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at him, he's trying to eat you! Yeah. <gasps> what is it? It's just a big spider, I don't know. Okay, goodbye.